Hi there, I'm Martijn Verberg. I'm here at DevOps UK with uh, an actual real lawyer. Um, this is Ben Snipe. And uh, Ben, what actually brings you here to a developer conference today? Uh, I'm, I've been invited here to talk about uh, the case Oracle versus Google that's, take, that's happening in the US. Uh, all about Google allegedly pinching Oracle's APIs, Java APIs. Uh, a little bit like a thief in the night, uh, <laughs> apparently, at least according to Oracle's lawyers. Yes, or uh, yeah, pirate ship um, <laughs> yeah, on, the, on the high seas. On the high seas. <laughs> so can you briefly sum up uh, what, what the latest ruling is and, and what impact it could have on developers if it was to be upheld? All right. Um, Google, um, Google's as, as is using some of uh, Oracle's Java APIs uh, in its Android platform, and uh, Oracle has has taken against that and uh, sued in uh, in uh, an American court. And it, initially. Uh, the court found uh, that um, uh, there was no copyright in the Java APIs, uh, and so Google was in the clear. Now, however, that decision has been overturned, and uh, it's been found that there is copyright uh, in uh, Java in APIs. Uh, APIs are copyrightable, and uh, there, there is infringement uh, by uh, Google for its use in the Android platform. Okay. And the reason why this has uh, created a lot of fuss or a lot of uh, worry in the software industry is that it's kind of the first time that a, a serious ruling has been made in a US court stating that APIs are actually copyrightable. And this could have potentially a lot of implications for languages like JRuby, who are implementing a Java API. Uh, the Mono implementation, which is obviously implementing a, a .NET API so on and so forth. So there's a lot of fear, uncertainty and doubt, but um, we're kind of here a little bit to reassure developers that it's not all as bad as it seems. Um, firstly, this ruling was just in a, in a small district court in the US as opposed okay. to you know, a global uh, ruling, correct? Yes, that's true. Yeah, well, this doesn't constitute legal advice. I think people worry too much. I think um, there's, a, there's a big difference between uh, developers developing, a, uh, say, a client application uh, which, which uses the uh, Java APIs, and Google taking 37 of Oracle's Java APIs and using them for commercial purposes in their, in their Android platform. Right. Uh, did that answer the question? Yeah, yeah, it's sort of, it's, 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 it's that concept of fair use which gets talked about yes. a lot in the US court uh, system. The, the yeah. fair use. Fair use remains an issue. The, the courts haven't yet decided on, the, on that. Uh, generally, fair use uh, concerns, for, for example, uh, if someone, if, if a teacher is uh, teaching a course on whether it's on literature or on software, uh, they can take pieces of code, they can distribute them to students. Uh, that's an example of fair use. Uh, another example of fair use is. Uh, you know, where, where you want to comment or criticize or review a piece of work and uh, where a, uh, say a section of code or a section of literature is uh, cut and pasted uh, to facilitate commenting. Google are arguing that there's a, there's a fair, re issue, fair use issue here and that they, they're protected because they are, they are using, you know, their use is fair uh, to, to make use of those, uh, those rather vague words. Right. Personally, I have doubts whether the fair use argument will succeed. Uh, par partly because I believe other companies have negotiated licenses with uh, Oracle uh, to use these, these APIs. And I believe that Google, and, uh, a long time ago, was, negotiate, was trying to negotiate a license. And uh, those uh, license negotiations never reached a conclusion or at least a conclusion where a license agreement was reached. So, yeah, I'm very, very skeptical about Google's uh, fair use defense. But, you know, who knows what the courts, what the US courts will eventually decide. Yeah, so uh, this decision is going to go back down to the lower court, um, and there will be a jury trial which will decide whether the copyrightable APIs were fair use or not. 
Um, since the concept of fair use is open to interpretation, um, a lot of companies and a lot of lawyers will be keeping a very close eye on the next decision to be made. Um, but I think we can safely conclude that as a it's a day-to-day -day Java developer, uh, there's really nothing to worry about for now, and you should just carry on coding. I couldn't agree more. Keep coding. Cool.